A day that will always be remembered by R.W. Crabtree and Sons is October the 17th, 1958. For on that day, the company was honored by a visit from Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness Prince Philip as part of their visit to the Centenary Music Festival of Leeds. It was a fine October morning and a crowd began to form outside the factory two hours before the Queen was due to arrive. Families and friends of employees were provided with seats on grand stands, erected at various points inside the factory. At 10.15, the royal car arrived, and the Queen was greeted by the enthusiastic chairs of the crowd. Her Majesty was received by Mr. Charles Crabtree, chairman of the company. With the Queen and her husband were the Earl of Scarborough, the Lord Mayor of Leeds, Alderman Mrs. Pierce, the Lady Marys, and members of the royal household. In a specially built lounge, the directors and their wives were presented to the Queen. Mr. W. E. Peel, the works manager, was presented at the start of the tour in the heavy machine shop. Mr. Peel was made a member of the Order of the British Empire in 1946. In the machine shop, the Queen saw a number of heavy and very expensive machines which are used to finish the framework on all kinds of printing presses. The Duke, who was accompanied by Mr. Peter Crabtree, was particularly interested in these machines. The Earl of Scarborough, the Lord Mayor and Lady Marys, and the members of the Royal Household were escorted round the works by the company directors. Mr. George Wright, a foundry worker and holder of the British Empire Medal, was also presented to the Queen. Her Majesty was very amused when he described his 68 years service with the company as not but very long. Passing by a group of employees from other departments, the Queen showed considerable interest in this special jig boring machine. In one of the light machine shops, the small rollers used on printing presses are manufactured. The chairman explained to the Queen the special layout of machine tools in the department, arranged to give flow production of these rollers. Her Majesty also saw hydraulic copying lathes and dynamic balancing machines which are used to ensure that the rollers are in perfect balance, a vital point as they operate at very high speed. In the cylinder department, the Queen showed a special interest in a grinding machine for cylinders, the most intricate and vital part of a press. Mr. George Westerman, who has been with the company for over 30 years, was the next person to be presented. In the assembly departments, the wives and relatives of employees eagerly awaited the arrival of the Queen. It was a day they'd been looking forward to for so long, and now they were anxious to give Her Majesty a real Yorkshire welcome. In this department, where the complete machines are assembled, the Queen inspected a Monarch two-color offset lithographic machine, running at a speed of over 7,000 sheets per hour. Her Majesty was interested in the names given to the presses, such as the Monarch, the Marquis, the Countess, and the Princess. party were also shown the Countess machine, which is another two-color lithographic press capable of remarkably high speeds. It is the first machine of its type to employ hydraulics instead of the conventional mechanical motions. In the newspaper department, sections of the machines being built were running. Her Majesty remarked how quietly they ran. Also presented to Her Majesty was Mr. William Hollins, foreman of the Rotary Erecting Shop. 
the Queen inspected with great interest a large press which had been built for a customer in New Zealand. As the press could not be built as a whole in the factory, Her Majesty was shown a large-scale drawing of the machine with its complete understructure. The total height of this press is nearly 30 feet. Nearby was a similar one destined for the Gleaner in Jamaica. It was being demonstrated by running paper through it and delivering it in its folded form. As an example of the worldwide use of Crabtree presses, the Royal Party saw newspapers from all corners of the earth. All had been printed on Crabtree machines. Finally, the chairman escorted Her Majesty through the sub-assembly shop to the entrance where the royal car was waiting. After the royal party had departed, many of the invited guests remained to walk round the factory and inspect the presses for themselves. And so we came to the end of a really memorable occasion, an occasion which thousands will remember, but none with greater pleasure than the members of the Crabtree organization.